What's going on guys? It has been a while. Thank you all for tuning into this video because this is a very important video. We have a big announcement to make. Actually, I've got two big announcements to make. We've had two really, really awesome things happen in the last week. One of them in this box, one of them in a bassinet at my house. So my son was born Monday, April 11th at 3.42 p.m. So that's kind of why I've been off the radar and haven't made a video since the baddest ford emblem video so this baby lights up and is still looking so so good uh and then we've got our newest sponsor here on the youtube channel a huge company with huge opportunities for the future on possibly taking this truck to sema and then one of our other companies we maybe may maybe get to go to sema as well with so really really awesome things happening here on the Justin Knox Smith YouTube channel and I want to give a huge shout out to Damon who's been watching my channel for over two years he is the director at Rigid Industries and you're going to learn all about Rigid Industries here on the Justin Knox Smith YouTube channel just like you've learned about all of the other companies that I'm sponsored by and that I work with and that help out and support uh, my dream of being a YouTuber and being in the truck scene and everything else in the truck industry I guess I could say as well so with that being said guys we have a box from our newest sponsor rigid industry so yes that is the newest sponsor here on the youtube channel i'm not sure what's in the box uh he said he's gonna send me out a couple of goodies and then we're also gonna work on getting some other things from this company on the truck and yeah so we're gonna open up the box right quick and see what all they sent us but thank you again damon he's the director at rigid i think is what it is director of marketing or something like that so he's been watching my channel literally since this truck was like four or five lift kits ago so now we're doing this is literally the newest phase of this truck is this truck's either 15th or 16th different lift kit height because we have literally done from two inch to two and a half to three to three and a half we done four and a half then seven then eight then nine then ten and a half then 12 then 13 then 20 and now we're going somewhere between 10 to 12 so the truck has been through a lot of phases and if you're a day one subscriber you can know that or if you're a day one follower on instagram you've seen this truck transform um not to mention when i bought it it was on eight and a half inch lift so that's another one however many that is that's how many lift kits it's been through not to mention sets of wheels i've literally been through two three four i, I need to make a video on it i've been through probably like 10 to 15 sets of wheels as well uh and that's how we just finesse here on the youtube channel and afford the things that we afford by being smart with our money and being smart trading around and stuff like that so i need to i need to make a video on how much money i have in like this pretty much ten twelve thousand dollar set of wheels behind me um and i don't have anything near that so i need i need to make a video on that because that may help some of you all and i know some of y'all may find that interesting but with that being said guys talk to y'all enough let's open up this box from rigid industries shout out damon so let's get this box opened and see what we got I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff. Like, holy cow. We got some of the D-Series Pro rigid light pods. We would definitely find somewhere to put these. Maybe even underneath the truck or in the bed or reverse lights, something. We would definitely find a good use for these around here. Unlimited mounting options, rigid ignite. It includes one rigid ignite, one mounting bracket, one hardware set. These are rigid smallest forward projecting light small package big output of course waterproof and we have not one not two not three but four of these things to try we'll probably have a video solely on these whether we use all four or just one or two put them in the bed for some uh, cargo lights since we've got the bed off of the truck already that sounds kind of cool to me guys so let me know what you would think about having some sweet lights in the bed i think i know where this is going to go guys we have a e-series rigid light bar i'm not sure on the size and then we also have another one right here so this is a radiance plus it includes the harness and two position switch 
Ooh, that's sweet, guys. It has backlight colors. So you've got backlit colors that shine. So we've got white, blue, red, green, and amber. Wow, 20 inch. So this is the 20 inch light bar. I just now seen the tag right there. Let's see what this is. So this is the 20 inch as well. So this first one was called the E-Series Pro. It's a spot and drive light combo. And this one is just solid white. And then this one right here is the 20 inch Radiance Plus. This is a 20 inch and it is white light or you can backlight it pretty much RGB and amber or white. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys, and just like that, we've got everything unboxed from Rigid Industries. So again, huge shout out Damon and Rigid Industries. I'm going to find some very, very good use for these products. And whichever light bar we don't use on the truck itself. So if you want me to do a giveaway on one of these light bars, whichever one I don't use, I think I'm going to put that backlit one on there because turn on the green. If it was a similar green to underneath my truck, that would be pretty cool. And I also like it because like the housing is more black and it's not so much chrome. So I think that'd be pretty sweet too, especially going on the show truck. Somewhat useful stuff that I do to my truck. I do a lot of useful stuff to my truck as well and stuff that helps you guys save money. Um, and then I do a lot of uh, useless show truck things to my truck. That also helps you guys save money. So I know y'all support me, so I want to support you guys. So definitely, whichever light bar I don't use, I for sure want to do a giveaway and have you guys enter probably like do it something very very simple not like a giveaway to where you have to buy something just something very simple to where you go follow rigid make sure you follow me on instagram make sure you uh i'm not sure if rigid has a youtube channel but i will probably include that probably to go subscribe to rigid follow them on instagram and maybe comment on my picture or something I'll, I'll be posting this on instagram i'll also post it in the community section here on youtube and then of course i'll mention it in one of my following videos um, but yeah, we got these pods right here. I'm definitely thinking about using these pods as maybe some reverse lights. I feel like that would be sick. Maybe build some custom brackets and powder coat them the same color as the suspension and everything. Maybe even build some brackets that bolt onto my horn blasters kit since it's already under the truck and maybe come off of that. That would be pretty sweet. Um, and then powder coat the brackets and put them on that horn blasters kit. Um, but yeah, guys, so we got the two 20-inch light bars. One of them like kind of has backlit colors and is a, probably a higher-end, more expensive model. And then the other one is their E-Series. I'm not really sure on what level that is. Everything that they make is good quality. Like, Rigid's been around forever, guys. But the pod lights, I definitely want to do a video and show all of these. So again, huge shout-out to Rigid. I just wanted to check back in with you guys, do a little vlog-style video. All of our lift kit, except for the rear lift blocks and the leaf springs, are done and at single shot powder coating waiting on us. So this week, we will be taking the blocks. I actually ended up getting the wrong blocks from PMF Suspension, so he uh, shipped those out. And they are actually supposed to be in today, I think. So he done like a one-day or two-day shipping on those since I needed them so quick. Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm going to go drop everything off at Sandblast, and we're going to do a video dropping our second round of parts off at sandblast and picking up our first huge round so we should have pretty much everything to put the front of this truck back together guys so i know that this series has been going on for like four or five six months but we should finally see some green underneath this truck very very soon i've got to take the hood stack off too the overlays on the hood stack i've got to get those off of there because those are going green of course as well on our grill tech hood stack um, and then also have another trailer hitch off of a parts truck that I'm going to go ahead and take with me to get that powder coated. So yes, that is red and on the truck. As you can see, guys, it's, it's holding the truck up right now. So I, I can't really take off the hitch and take it to powder coat. Um, we are also doing a video on restoring the frame. So this is just some rust eliminator. It's actually going to end up looking way better than this. And then we're also going to be doing a video on undercoating the bed to salvage the bed so if the bottom of your bed is starting to rust out you're going to want to stay tuned for that video as well because i do have some surface rust on the bottom of my bed and like i said trying to not cut corners anywhere on this build this time around i want somebody to be able to go underneath this truck with a flashlight and just be amazed at how much work we've put into this thing 
and how you guys have supported me through the whole build process and got to watch the whole build process, guys. That's what this YouTube channel is all about. So with that being said, guys, huge shout out to Rigid Industries. This is like a huge leap in the right direction of where I'm trying to go with this channel and having the support and help of these huge companies uh, is, is going to make the biggest difference because networking and getting to know everybody in the industry is one of my favorite parts about being a YouTuber and connecting with these companies. And not only uh, little discounts here and there helps me grow the channel so much and continue making good content for you guys, but it's just, it's getting in there. Like even without the deals, it's knowing people, networking with people, getting to know people. It's just the best part of the truck industry altogether because I can't tell you guys how many of you all subscribers and just how many companies and owners of trucks and stuff that I've met that are just such great people and most of them talk to on a day-to-day -day basis so yeah just met so many awesome people in the truck world that's what keeps me going for you guys and helping you all save money with all my how-to videos and everything like that so with that being said guys that's going to be all for today's video always remember everybody starts as nobody i hope you all enjoyed this and i hope you all are ready to see some rigid industries lights in action and doing some review videos on them and in-depth videos on them and install videos on them and much much more we're going to be going and getting some green pmf suspension this week so stay tuned the truck's coming back together i plan on being at music city so that's in a month. So get ready for some good content coming here very, very shortly. Peace.